Let's take you live over northbound I-5, which is finally fully back open following a real traffic headache for much of this day. This was the story earlier, with two crashes, one of them deadly, creating gridlock that is carried over throughout much of the day. Three semi-trucks collided during the second crash, and milk from one of those big rigs spilled, coating the road and creating slick conditions similar to ice. It was a wild chain of events. One man was killed trying to run across the interstate close to the Fife curve. The investigation into that case caused slowdowns, triggering that other collision involving those three semi trucks. I'm Matt Lorch. And I'm Jamie Tompkins. One truck carrying 30,000 pounds of fish, another truck spilling its load of milk that flooded a nearby creek. K13 News reporter Steve Kiggins is live in Puyallup. So, Steve, where do things stand at this point? Yeah, Jamie, uh, last hour we showed you some of the side streets. They looked pretty good, but now we've moved over to 4th and Pioneer. You're looking to uh, the east there, and this sea of red lights just goes down the way here and continues all the way to the west near the highway along the Puyallup River. Take a look at just what this looked like about an hour ago or so. The delays just a, just a short time ago, right? Side streets. Back then, the main streets. The traffic here in Puyallup, it would pile up on one roadway. We'd see it move off to another, only to snake its way back to the same place it began just a few minutes later. We've talked to people who were stuck in traffic for hours since this incident happened very early this morning. And while not everybody's smiling ear to ear, they're taking it all right. It's 8 30 this morning. Long day. Long day, 43 miles. That's all I've gone. Gridlock everywhere. Going from East Tacoma to, to Milton. How frustrating is this? Well, you gotta tolerate it. It is frustrating, but you gotta tolerate it. Not much you can do. Well, yeah, there's not really much you can do if you've just got to see your red lights in front of you and behind you. Again, live pictures in downtown uh, Puyallup. Uh, you know what? This has been a, a ripple effect all across the South Sound. We saw it impact uh, communities up to the north, like Edgewood. We saw it even impact communities all the way up in Federal Way. It was uh, it was a mess all the way up near SR 18 earlier today. Not to mention one of our one of our photojournalists said he saw drivers turning around in the middle of the road and driving the opposite way against traffic just to try and get closer to any kind of shortcut. Even Puyallup police they threw in the towel because maybe three hours. Or or so ago, they were telling people to avoid Puyallup if you could, and maybe even look forward to Saturday. Uh, it's still just as bad here on Pioneer. The side streets are looking a little better, but this has been a mess that has been building all day. It's look, it looks like it's going to take a while to clear out of clear out of Puyallup as well. For now, we're live in Pierce County. Steve Kiggins, Q13 News. All right.